Good afternoon, everybody. So I decided on my first YouTube, I'm going to keep it kind of authentic and kind of give you a little background history about me, show you my craft room and the history behind the craft room. So my name is Lisa Lose and I run the Crafty Corner. So let's begin where my love for lace came from. My grandmother was an accomplished seamstress. She did needlepoint. She did embroidery. She was amazing. Anytime I'd go to visit, she'd show me how, all these little steps and things like that. So uh, fast forward to me being in high school. My grandmother was all for entrepreneurship. And I had this idea. This is where I started loving lace. That I wanted to sell lingerie. Yep, lingerie. So my grandmother um, was so supportive of it because she was also a clothing designer as well. And in my files on my page, you'll see some of her drawings that I shared with everybody to feel free to use them. So um, she handed me some money and off we went to Boston to this, um, I can't even think of the name of it. Um, it's at the seaport and you buy wholesale. So she helped me do all that and I did shows and I had a blast with it, an absolute blast and did pretty well. Went off to college and I was a nanny and I ended up nannying for this family that her best friend owned a lace shop um, in Boston. So I went into this lace shop and oh my gosh, it was unbelievable. Um, all the beautiful textiles and, and Battenberg lace and it was everywhere. She had um, shawls, to home furnishings, everything. So for Christmas, um, the lady I nannied for got me this beautiful mantelpiece because at the time I was engaged and she figured it would be great, a great gift for me, which it was. It was amazing. I wish I still had it. So I was always a crafter. Um, my love for crafting grew more and more the more time I had. When my kids were young, I did quilting. Um, I did stamping. I did scrapbooking. I was always into home decor, uh, having my house look pretty like uh, Better Homes and Garden. I ended up getting a divorce and was a single mom for, oh, I think it was like 13. So um, I really didn't have time for crafting then. And it was more putting my life together and figuring out who I was and what I needed, what I wanted, so forth and so on. So I met this amazing guy back, we'll be together 10 years now. I'm married nine this coming St. Patrick's Day. And his name is Gary, and actually the funniest thing is, is my ex, his name happens to be Gary as well. Go figure. I have a thing for Gary's, I guess. He's polar opposite, though. Totally polar opposite of my Gary. So we ended up um, renting a house for a few years together and decided that we wanted to move north. We wanted a little farm. We wanted more freedom. We wanted more um, fresh air. So we moved north to New Hampshire, uh, Sanbornville, which is part of the Lakes region. And I've been coming up to this area for several years as a kid. And uh, my parents have a lake house here, so I know the area. We happened to hit it lucky. We found this beautiful house. At the time, it wasn't so beautiful. The bones were beautiful, but the house was in shambles at an auction. And it's funny because my oldest son came by and looked at my husband and said, you are going to mow this thing down. And he says, Andrew, do you realize that look at the wood, look at the workmanship, and someday I'll take you guys and show you that as well. But it was beautiful. So it was built in the late 1700s so far as we got evidence from. We didn't find anything cool inside the walls at all, unfortunately. <clears throat> However, the people that... Um, got rid of it, apparently were hoarders. And I'm still in touch with the grandson and his wife of the people that own the house. And every time she'd run out of space, she'd tell her husband, I need an addition, I need an addition. So this room that I'm in here, my craft room is, I was told an extra living room. The first one was an extra living room. And then this is actually two rooms with the wall down. The second one also 
was a living room that just kept moving forward. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm kind of going to show you what my craft room looks like. Gary did it over for me during the height of COVID when wood was outrageous. So my wood isn't that pretty. It's functional. And oh, before I forget, I probably went a little too far. Um, I also had a little gift shop here and it was attached to my house and made bath and body products. And a lot of the stuff I'd made in the shop um, for the shop were made from in here. And I made bath and body products, I'd say for about 12 years. The market got flooded. I got tired of it. And my store with the economy the way it was, was not doing good. So I decided to close it and take a little rest this winter and figure out what I want to do. Uh, my husband, Gary, is disabled. He's a veteran. We had a serious motorcycle accident back five years ago when we first moved up here. It led left him um, with a bad back injury, and actually I'm still suffering an MPT from a back injury as well that um, just seem, won't seem to let up. So I'm going to show you guys my craft room and at some point I'm going to go outside, not today because it's snowing. I'll take you to the window and show you. Uh, we've got a ton of snow here, but I'm going to show you outside all our property, our goats. And um, you guys will begin to realize I'm very transparent. I love YouTubers that show, uh, show me their lives. To me, I can relate and it's great to see how other people live. So you're going to see a lot of, of of me and my life and things like that. But I'll also show you crafts as well. I also had an import business. I'm ADHD, so I'm all over the place. So again, this is an authentic video of the Drew May. Um, I had an import business and I used to sell to people that made Bath and Body products. I had a group there and it was extremely successful. I ended up selling it and fortunately the people made a mess of it and I ended up kind of pulling it back and I do it small dribs and drabs, but now I'm kind of, you know, it's, it's getting old. Back when it was at its height, I was having tractor trailer trucks, semi rigs pulling up and unloading. So I'm tired, I'm burnt out. And it's time kind of for me to live very humbly, which we do, and enjoy life a little bit. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to turn the camera around. My room is not totally clean. It's authentic and it's how it looks when I'm working. So I figured, you know, I don't want to show you guys perfect because no craft room is perfect. So sit tight. Hold on and let me turn this camera around and I'll show you. Okay, so inside here is the entrance from my house. And as you can see, my wood is not very pretty. However, I'm going to make it pretty somehow. So a lot of this furniture I took out from my shop, which was all Ikea furniture. So I'm kind of dressing it up. These dolls, my dad had passed away almost two years ago, and my mom sold her house. And she had a doll collection, and I wanted to bring a few dolls in here. Um, I have three grandsons and two more grandchildren on the way. So if I have that girl, I kind of want to save something special from their great grandma. So this is where I keep all our stuff. This is great. This is my mini split and it heats, ACs and humidify and is also a fan. So it's really good. So up here I have the Ikea cubes and I've got all different things just stored in there as well. You'll still see I still have some Bath and Body products in here. I'm trying to get rid of it. Uh, I have a stove here, cooktop here. Um, this is where I do all my shipping from, my printing, and look at this. I'll show you guys. Look at this snow coming down. Not sure if you can see it. You really can't get the gist of it. It's beautiful though. First snowfall is always beautiful. So then you come around to here. I have a lot of my lace stuff in here and all these bins. Again, I go around and I switch things up quite a bit. I have a lot of paperwork and stuff in here. And 
this is a mess and again i'm being authentic so this is tons of lace tons and tons of stuff you guys when you buy those boxes that i'm selling what i'm going to do is i'm also going to give you uh, special other things too and I didn't say that and I probably should have but I've got um, music notes I mean look at I've got cases of music down here I've got so much stuff that I'm gonna pack it up so this is the corner that um, we use to make the Glowforge stuff the um, painting corner the wood corner and so that's this corner. There's a massage table in here because I have a dear friend that comes and massages us often to help with our back issues. This is my sewing corner, which I'm going to create as my YouTube corner. This is a teaser for you guys to see. It's all done and ready to film. I have an embroidery machine. I have a regular machine and I have a heavy duty machine. So that's this area. I could open all the drawers and show you what's in them. But, you know, I don't want to go that route. It's just too much right now. My husband got a new humidor for his cigars. And his old yucky one is here. So that's why that's here. And I'm going to show you this. This is my favorite island. I am at this island working all the time. And I'll go in and out. I'll do stuff in the house and... I'll work on the island right now. I'm working on a special project that I'm asked to be part of a design team for. And I'll show you. This is the stuff. And those of you that ordered this last batch of my lace holders, this wood came in and look, it's horrible. So there's no way I'm selling these. We're going to throw these out and I have a better wood coming in on Tuesday so you guys will get those but I just kind of wanted to do a quick YouTube and kind of show you around here and just introduce myself and these are the two boxes you can choose either black or white they're $38 a piece they're filled to the brim with lace and I've got other goodies I'm going to put in there as well so there are a few left if you want to buy them I want to thank everybody for watching. Keep in mind, this is my first YouTube, my first edit. So I'm sure as I go on, I'll learn more in how to do things and they'll get better and better. Have a great day. I look forward to doing another one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.